Hey YouTube, hey YouTube, hey YouTube. This is Melinda. I'm back again with Rizzo's Kitchen. I'm going to show you guys today how to make oyster Rockefeller. I'm going to jump straight into this video so it can be fast because if y'all anything like me, you don't want to deal with all the rain and rain. <laughs> so um, I have my nonstick stick skillet. I've already placed a half a tablespoon of butter in it and I've also placed my half a teaspoon, teaspoon, tablespoon of diced onions. And now I'm going to go in with my half a tablespoon of minced garlic. And we're cooking it on medium, medium high heat. We have a tablespoon of cream cheese, quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper, and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And we have half a tablespoon of parsley for garnish. We're going to sweat this through just a little bit. As soon as we get that real loud cracking sound, we're going to add in our spinach. We have a, a tablespoon of spinach. We're going to throw it right in. Now if you want to, if you, if you love, um, if you love spinach, by all means add more. Add a little more. Okay, we're gonna turn it down just a little bit. Now we're gonna add in a little bit of heavy whipping cream, which would have been about three to four tablespoons. Now we're gonna stir that, we're gonna stir that in. So you guys can kind of see what it looks like. You gotta stir that in. So we're going to bring it back to medium high. Now we're going to add in our salt. Four teaspoons of salt and pepper. It's all to taste, guys. It's all about your taste. You can add a little bit more. You can take a little bit away. Letting that go on medium high heat. Just to kind of saute this a little bit. Okay, now we're going to add in our cream cheese. And we're going to let that go. What we're going to do is we're going to bring it back down to medium low. Until the sauce becomes really, really creamy. You see, it's almost there, guys. See how it looks? I don't know if you guys can kind of see the thickness of the sauce now. Yeah, that's what you want. Okay, now we can turn it off. And just let it continue to heat you up. This is what you want, guys. I don't know if you can see that or not. You want that consistency. A thick kind of cream consistency. And like I said, you can always add a little more salt, a little more pepper. What you want to do is you want to taste it. I'm going to take that off the iron. Now here's what we're going to do. These are my horses on a half shell, guys. So I'm going to place them on this cooking sheet, on this baking sheet. I hope you guys can see this. Just like this. I'm going to show you guys exactly how they are done.
now. We're going to taste it. Just to see if we need any more salt and pepper. That's actually good, guys. That's perfect. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. gonna do we're gonna scoop just a little dollop and we're gonna place each little dollop right smack dab on each oyster I have a preheated oven guys of 375. If you want to make the sauce a little thicker and a lot more, just, just double the recipe. This is enough for A dozen of oysters but if you want more like I said just add a little bit more um, to your recipe this is just enough for my recipe okay want you guys to see what we have here can you see I'm going to show you exactly what we got here. I hope you guys can really see that. That's all you need, guys. It's a dollar. Now, what we're going to do is we have, I'm not going to use all this cheese, guys, but I have a little bit of white shredded cheese. What I have is a mixture of Parmesan, I believe Romano, um, I think Parmesan Marano, uh, Romano, I believe that's it, guys. It's like a mix of uh, the cheeses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pinch and just place it down on each oyster individually, making sure they stay within the oyster's cavity. And what you're going to do is after you do this, you're going to uh, put them in the oven on 375, 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And you're going to bake them for uh, five to seven minutes. And it really depends on your purpose. If you like them uh, more raw, um, then a few seconds, in, a few minutes in the oven, maybe three minutes in the oven is fine. But uh, for me, I like to do them about five to seven minutes. Um, and when I'm in a hurry, when I, I try to get in a hurry when I'm cooking, but um, okay. I didn't use the whole bowl, guys. I, just, I used almost. So we're going to top each one of them with a little sprinkle of parsley. Just not a lot, just more than for presentation and decoration. Just a little bit. Although I actually like the flavor that parsley actually has as well. So it's one of my staples. And if you like more cheese, add more cheese by all means. So, I'm 
gonna try, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like after you place the cheese on top. Then I'm gonna put them in the oven. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna put them on 400 for about five minutes. Yeah, and that'll be quick, especially for the video. So, in, in they go, guys. Can you guys see that? We're waiting on the oysters. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about myself and my channel, the purpose of my channel. I've been cooking for some time now, guys, and um, my video is um, cooking is my passion. And um, I guess I need to introduce myself. I'm sorry about that. My name is Melinda with Miss Little's Kitchen. And my channel is, I want people, what I want people to take away from my channel is um, whatever your calling is, walk into it. Um, if you love to cook, if you love to sew, if you love to do anything um, that your heart, if it's anything that you go to bed at night and you dream about or you think about, and you wake up in the morning and you think about the same thing, then that is more than likely your dream will call you. It's something you need to walk in. Um, I decided to go with this channel because so many people um, have been asking me to do a YouTube channel, a YouTube um, channel, and I was kind of hesitant and I was kind of scared because I didn't know much about uh, technical um, things and I'm not a computer weed, so I decided to go into this. Um, I'm going into a blank, you guys. I've done a little bit of research um, as far as um, how YouTube works and how to get subscribers and, and things like that. Um, so, y'all bear with me. I'm going to give you some great content. If you bear with me, I promise you, um, you're going to learn something from me um, that you can use in like, everyday life, that you can use. Um, in general, and it, it, it's really a gift to be able to know how to um, to cook because it's a generational thing for me. Um, my, my my grandmother, my mother, um, it's, it's just been a history for me. I'm a self-taught person. I learned from my grandmother and my aunts and my mom. Um, my grandmother, um, my YouTube channel is in homage of my grandmother. It's her legacy. Her name was Lily, and I decided to uh, do my business name. Miss Lily's Kitchen um, in Catering. And so guys, I just thank God that you decided to come by my channel. Um, this is all to pay homage and to my grandmother, my late grandmother, which her name is Miss Lily May Powell. Um, she died um, back in 2011. And she didn't get a chance to see the manifestations of what she's taught me and what I've learned. So I'm very grateful to God for that. Um, this video, this channel, I'm going to give you all my heart. I'm going to give you all, uh, I'm going to show you how to do a lot of things, um, such as crafting, things like that. I'm just, just bear with me, guys, when I learn this whole YouTube thing and when I learn how to be um, in the public, <laughs> I think I'll be more comfortable being behind the, uh, being in front of the camera. Um, I've always been shy. I've always been not one to want to take pictures of the videos on there. So guys, just bear with me. I promise you, um, I'm just getting into YouTube, but I got some good stuff for you guys. I'm going to show you a lot of things. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Um, and just know that I'm going to give you my heart each video. So I thank you for watching. We're waiting. We got about another minute and our oyster should be ready. Um, again, the Oyster Rockefeller is um, you do uh, for your for your sauce to, to put on, on top of the oysters is um, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper, black pepper, um, one tablespoon of cream cheese, one um, half tablespoon of butter, unsalted butter, and half tablespoon of garlic, half uh, minced garlic, and half tablespoon of minced onions. 
um, and I do a half a tablespoon of parsley for decoration after, and I do a pinch of um, mozzarella or mono cheese mix um, and parmesan on top of each oyster individually, and then I top with a little bit of a little sprinkle of parsley on each oyster, and I put them in a 400 degree oven for about five minutes, and this is for the purpose of the video. For me, I would probably put them down. I would, I know I would do 375 for about seven minutes, or until the cheese has melted pretty well on it, because it doesn't take oysters long to cook. So, yeah, guys, I think we are ready <laughs> to take these oysters out of the oven. So you guys can kind of see what we got. Yes. And if you want to, you can put them on broil. They're ready. The cheese has melted. And don't try this at home. Because <laughs> I'm going to pick one up. And they are pretty, pretty warm. This is what you want. And if you just want to, you can put it on broil. And put it back in the oven so it can kind of have that little brown uh, effect on top. Which I'm going to put it on more to kind of show you guys. I'm going to have another video. So I don't want to keep you guys too long, but I need you all to see this video. So what we're going to do is I'm going to stick them back in the oven. Home broil. Um, if you don't want that, um, the little charred top a little bit of the cheese kind of burnt looking then you can skip this step but if you want it to be presentable if you want it to have that little crunch to it or that little cheese kind of crust to it put it on broil or just watch it very closely put it on broil put it in and take it out um, it doesn't take long to to kind of get that that um that crust brown so Yeah, and just go ahead and put it on the oil if that's what you want and take it out and that's Oyster Rockefeller, you guys. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, invite your friends, share it on Facebook. Um, yes, um, thanks a lot for watching. This, you have just seen me do Oyster Rockefeller in the oven. And if you guys want more videos, comment below what you want to see me do, what you like, what you don't like. Um, for me, any suggestions, I welcome everything. I welcome any suggestions, um, any critiques. I, I welcome it all. Um, I, I see no, um, all feedback is good feedback. Rather, is negative to some, it's always positive to me because it can only make me better. It can only make my channel grow. It can only make me grow as a person. So I thank you for watching. And... cut the video off before it started boiling but it had to wait a few minutes for it to boil so you guys have a good chance to see the, the, the ending product um, but you can skip this step if you like but I just want to give you guys this um, this video because I thought it would be amazing to do and I was scared at first about the time um, I didn't want my videos to be too long and here we go I really wish I knew how to do a thumbnail, guys, because this is beautiful. Matter of fact, let me change. This is what we're looking at. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, guys, that's all I want to show you. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe. Good night.